YouTube friends, I'm Heidi with Healing Harvest Homestead and today I wanted to talk with you about essential oil diffusers and what that actually means and what styles you have choice wise. Um, because essential oils are pretty mainstream now in our society and people uh, ask which is the best way to diffuse them, what's the best way to get them into the air so you can breathe them. And I'm going to talk about some different styles. So I'm going to start <clears throat> with something called passive diffusion. But before I do that, let's just talk what, about what is diffusion. Um, so diffusion is essentially when the molecules of a substance permeate an, a space or an area. Um, and so that's what happens with essential oils. You drop the drops of essential oils into either a mechanism like one of these or even on a cotton ball and <clears throat> the molecules get into the air and they hit your nose and you end up inhaling them, which is wonderful, <laughs> usually anyway. So um, let's talk about some different kinds. One of the kinds of diffusion that we don't really think about very much uh, as being diffusion is passive diffusion. Passive diffusion is essential, essentially when you have the molecules of the essential oil entering the air um, without any kind of mechani mechanization behind it. So <clears throat> that would be like if I dropped a few drops of essential oil onto this cotton ball. And I always tell people um, I work with, if you want to have that uh, that personal area, um, having your essential oil that works on your mood or, or uh, for your wellness, you can tuck um, a little cotton ball that's got a few drops of your essential oil blend or a single into your clothing if you want, or you can place it around your office. Uh, one thing I love to do is when I'm driving for long distances, I'll go ahead and put a cotton ball into the vent. And it's just a nice way to get um, those essential oils into the air passively. <clears throat> the next step up is something called an ultrasonic diffuser. And an ultrasonic diffuser, I have two of them here. I actually have a third one, but I'm going to share that one in a moment because it's really special. <laughs> but these, these two are different examples of ultrasonic um, diffusers. Now, ultrasonic diffusers require water. And what happens is they are able to put a mist with the water and the essential oils into the atmosphere and the environment. And they're pretty powerful. They can, they can actually fill a room with some gorgeous scent. Um, and that scent is useful for cleaning the room as well as providing a mood in the room, um, setting a tone or a feeling in a space. These are wonderful. Uh, they're also good for therapy. So if you are wanting to use essential oils for, um, wellness reasons, then these are a nice way to get those special molecules into the air, into the space. Um, these vibrate at a very, very high rate of speed. There's a little like, uh, usually it's a ceramic um, piece at the bottom that vibrates really fast and it makes the this steam, only it's not a hot steam, it's a cool steam. Uh, it mixes the essential oils in the water and it puts this mist into the room. And that's how these work and uh, they're very nice. So usually, let's look at it look at the makeup of these. So you've got usually a top that might be attractive, like this one, or like this one, not so much. <laughs> and the top has a little emitter that allows this, the um, mist to come out. I keep calling it a steam. It's not a steam, it's a mist. And then you've got a top that comes off, and this is actually uh, concentrates the mist inside the diffuser and then you've got a an area where this is where you pour your water and your essential oils it's kind of a little basin and they they come in different sizes um and let me just put this one's really old i've had it forever so there we go and there we go there we go and there we go la la <laughs> All right, so these are ultrasonics. And then you've got the powerhouse, which is the nebulizer. The nebulizing diffuser uh, doesn't require any water at all. In fact, it's just pure essential oil is all you use. And it vibrates really, really fast. And it's able to get the little tiny molecules of essential oil, pure essential oil, into the air. So needless to say, these are very, very powerful. I am mainly a fan of using a nebulizer for therapy. Um, 
to me, I would rather, if I'm just scenting a room or creating a mood for a space, uh, you can certainly use a nebulizer, but my favorite is the ultrasonic. And then plus these are a lot less expensive. These should run you about, I don't know, depending on the size, uh, $30 to maybe $50 or $60. If they're more expensive, you need to question why. They might be pretty fancy, like this one, <clears throat> this is pure glass. And so this one's um, a really beautiful diffuser and it was a little more expensive. It was on that upper $60 uh, range, I believe. This one um, was expensive when I bought it because I bought it from uh, one of the multi-level marketing companies. But this type of diffuser about this size should run you about $30. And then a nebulizer is going to cost in the range of about $100 and up, okay? So these are, are really great for therapy. Now I'm going to do a video uh, pretty soon on diffusing safety. You, you know, people think you can just diffuse essential oils for hours on end. And these do have timers, the ultrasonics. Mostly um, uh, we'll have a, a timer that ranges between an hour to maybe six hours. And I'll be honest with you, um, there's no reason to diffuse essential oils for that long. Number one, you're going to waste your essential oil, uh, which are, they're expensive. And number two, um, you can get the effects, especially if you're looking for the effects, after about 30 minutes to an hour, two at the max. And um, I suggest if people are just going to be home, turning it off, um, every, you know, sporadically and then turning it back on for a while. And therefore you get the benefits without wasting your essential oil or without, um, you know, making uh, health or creating health issues for animals or pets or people in your household. So um, people often ask me, and this is going to go along with the safety video, but I'm just going to mention here, I always get the question, is it okay to diffuse essential oils around your pets or young, young children? And I'm going to say it is if you take certain precautions. So, um, you know, just knowing what those precautions are is a really good idea when you're starting to use essential oils around your children or your pets or even the elderly. Uh, but they can be fantastic for uh, helping with wellness and health um, kinds of things. So let's move on to this last diffuser that I have here. This is actually a mini personal diffuser and it's an ultrasonic. It's a style of of these. You do need water to use this. But Rocky Mountain Oils sent this to me um, and asked me if I would try it out. They did this before they put it on their shop. Um, so I think they were trying to get some feedback on what people thought of it. And I used it uh, for about a month before I made any judgment calls. And I have to say I love it. I just love it. You see, when you diffuse essential oils in these larger diffusers, which are more typical, you're filling a whole room of, of space with the essential oil and the aroma that comes with it. And not everybody likes your essential oil smell. We all have different scent preferences, right? And not everybody needs the therapeutic benefits either. We are all different. And what I love about this is if you're in your own home, certainly use this. But what if you work in an office or what if you're driving in a car or what if you know, you're going to be around other people but you wanna take advantage of your essential oils? You can certainly put them into an inhaler, which is super personal. Um, but if you want that little blast of a mist, which I just love. These are great. Um, I actually kind of laughed when I saw this the first time. I'm like, oh no, this is like a tiny little thing. Is it going to be useful? Well, it turns out that I gave it the good college try and I was really impressed. So the way it works is you've got your, this part comes off and you've got your little well here. This is where you put your water and your essential oils. And you just squeeze it back or twist it back on. And then the switch is right here in the front. You just open it up. You can, I'll hold this in front of my hair, which is darker. Can you see that mist? It's pretty strong. And um, this little guy only runs for one minute. Okay. And that just shows you, you don't need a, 
a whole like essential oil blast constantly in your face but it runs for a minute and then if you want to you can turn it back on again and I love it I use it I have it sitting next to me in my office I carry it with me in my purse it's very small um, it could even fit into a larger pocket or even a not so large pocket actually but you've got it with you and when you need it and I think that is just the most cool thing um, in terms of a diffuser and you might be wondering how much this little guy costs. Well, this wasn't on the shop when I first got it, and I looked up the cost of it, and it wasn't there. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh gosh, it's gotta be about $30, because it's a really cool little gadget. Turns out it's only 15. So this is from Rocky Mountain Oils, and I just think if you're going to gift somebody some essential oils this holiday season, I think this would be a really nice little present. And especially when given with a little um, essential oil blend or something that, you know, your recipient might need or want. But <clears throat> just gonna throw that out there. I'll put the link below to all of these different kinds so that you can take a look at them um, and, and get more information. But I just love this little guy here. And I wanted to just tell you, it doesn't take batteries. Uh, the way it operates is you charge it using your phone charger and the charge lasts a really long time. I think since I've had it, I've only charged it once and that's been over a, a whole, like well over a month at this point. So it's, it does last really well. All right. I hope you enjoyed this little essential oil diffuser uh, discussion. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them below. By the way, I am a certified aromatherapist. I'm working on my uh, clinical aromatherapy right now. Uh, and I, I've been using them for years along with my herbs. <laughs> so I love my botanical wellness and uh, health uh, choices. And I encourage you to turn to plants because <laughs> they work, especially if you're wanting to be prepared. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. I'm Heidi with Healing Harvest Homestead, and I'm going to sign off now. If, uh, again, if you've got questions, please leave them and be sure to subscribe. I um, would love to see you here and, and develop a community. All right. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention is if you want to learn more about essential oils, I do have a very inexpensive subscription membership uh, in a community. Uh, it's $10 a month and it's called the Confident Oily Crew. <laughs> so uh, I'm just getting it started. That's why it's so inexpensive right now. But I'll be sharing information on one or two essential oils a month very deeply with videos and with printable PDFs and a reference sheet for you. And there is a student community, so you are welcome to ask more questions in there. And um, I do have a reference guide that comes with it, and it's going to be, it's a very useful membership if you're interested in learning more about aromatherapy and using essential oils safely. All right, have a really good day, and please subscribe.